everybody. My name is David. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'm so excited to bring you guys this video. I'm so excited to bring you guys some of these hacks and these tips for using chat GPT, but we'll get there. Don't worry. We're going to break it down from the very beginning. We're going to make it very simple for you. You will understand chat GPT after this. And not only will you understand it, but you will be as awestruck as the very small percentage of people that know anything about it or how to use it or how to make money with it. So stay tuned till the end of the video, smash the like and subscribe, and we're going to go through all these things and more, guys. Let's get right into it. I am ChatGPT, a large language model trained by OpenAI. I use artificial intelligence algorithms to generate human-like responses to user queries and messages. My training data includes a vast corpus of text from the internet, books, and other sources. I can provide answers to a wide range of questions on different topics, engage in conversations, and even generate text based on given prompts. What does it all mean, Basil? So let's give an example, guys. Before, if you were doing work or you were running a business and you needed somebody to build a website, that's one. You needed somebody to crunch all the numbers and run your statistics and find out what a good business plan and model would be. That's two. Uh, you need a marketing rep. You need somebody to do all of that. You need somebody to reach out. You need customer service. You need all these things. With ChatGPT, you don't need it anymore. You can run an entire business and delegate everything to your fingertips and the keyboard. And it's going to talk back to you like a human, and it's going to do these tasks and achieve them for you guys. Now, there are a couple things that hold it back. Being that its information database cuts off at 2021, supposedly. One restraint. Second restraint. Guidelines, restrictions put in there for the safety of the program, the progression of AI, the progression of AI and humans living together, because whether we like it or not, guys, this is all coming very, very fast. And I'm not saying that the robot's going to be, you know, handing you groceries in the next two weeks. But this world and the earth and everything as we know it is literally going through one of the biggest changes, the biggest change that has ever been seen by anyone living and still walking this earth. It's mind boggling. So we're not there yet, but we can look to the future just in this construction poster or uh, picture right here, guys. Soon there will be one man who dictates this instruction to somebody, and all of this is carried out with AI. All right? Um, and that's a scary fact for a lot of people. Um, but we just need to educate ourselves. We need to be good prompt engineers, if you will. We need to know how to speak and interact with this system that everything is going to hang on, guys. It's very simple. I'm going to show you a couple tricks right now. <laughs> now, before everyone gets crazy and worried, which you don't need to be worried. You just need to equip yourself. And I'm trying to help you guys do that right now, or at least start the process of thinking about it. Because you go ask somebody tomorrow after you watch this video if they know what chat GPT is, and they're going to say no. I mean, it's ridiculous. So this is a post thing that was just recently posted for a prompt engineer, $335,000, 250 to $335,000, depending on <clears throat> your experience. But like we said, we don't need to be a code writer. We don't need to know code at all. We just need to know what it's called, guys. I'm gonna show you something really quick. It's gonna blow your mind. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you one last thing that you can use today to implement in your own daily life or sports wagering as I'm going to show it and literally use this tool to make money right now. We will go more into this at the end of the video, but I did want to go ahead and show you guys just a quick little thing you can use just for, for sports betting or fantasy sports or anything like that. So um, let's just do this to show you. We're going to use this prompt. This is the most relevant statistic formula used to calculate every stat and find the most value in a player and it's it's deemed to be the top formula it's called the player efficiency rating and so i simply just put the formula in because i already have it saved to my prompts right for my own reference and it's put it out for me right there okay now this is just one thing like if you're just getting into even even sports wagering or uh stocks or anything like that reference everything 
through this system and you're going to get a tight response, guys. You know, I can ask it to do many more things on top of that, but we'll go into this. We're going to get way more into this, okay? Stick around. So as we can see, prompt engineering, prompt writing is going to be a vital, vital, vital part of this world moving forward. It's how we're going to communicate with the tools that we're going to need to carry out everything that we need to, to even be employed or think about being employed. But right now, we can take advantage of it and use these tools to our advantage because nobody is. All right. We're going to show you a couple ways how right now, guys. As you can see below me, there's four illustrations, and this is the Dolly program on OpenAI, all part of it for $20 a month when you sign up for Chat GPT Plus um, and OpenAI Plus, and you upgrade your account. It's $20 a month. Uh, you just give it a description, and it, and it tells it. So this is a story. These are just four pictures that it spit out for me. Uh, my father used to tell me a story, me and my brother and sister, about a frog and a squirrel that were best friends. Their name was uh, Fred and Irving, and they used to get in all sorts of mischief, and they were best friends, and we used to love it. We used to love listening to him tell us the story. So why not turn that into a children's book, which is one of the easiest things to use this technology for, and anyone can seriously do it. I literally just typed in a frog and a squirrel who are strangely best friends and get into mischief together, but are good-hearted. And it spit this out for me. So, I chose this one. We'll use this. Save it. Save it to Fred and Irving file right here. Because I'm going to keep producing them. So I can make my book. Not these ones, but I'm going to go from there. And then we can even get variations of it. So let's just see what a variation of it is. Boom. I'm not, he thought I wasn't going to show you how it works, guys. So now it's going to spit out four more for us. And we can add more detail to the description. Here's the original. And now we're getting better, right? That's cool. I like that one. We'll save that one. Save that to Fred and Irving also. Oh. Oh. All right. Now. Let's do it one more time. You guys want to? No, I, I guess we can't go any more than that. Uh, yeah, we can if we want to add a more description. But we'll stop right there, and we're going to hop over to Chat GPT now. I have uploaded the extension to Chat GPT for the prompt genie and it gives me these set prompts so i have a fiction writer here george rr R. martin i'm sure we're all familiar with him game of thrones not necessarily who i would be wanting writing my children's book but when you put in fiction writer that's what comes up but i have digressed to him and i've said hello could you write me a children's book about a mischievous mischievous but good-hearted squirrel and frog named fred and irving who are best friends this will be an illustrated book with only about two sentences on each page and five pages. Let's change that in total. Now we're just going to fire away. And there it is, guys. Once upon a time, there were two best friends named Fred and Irving. Fred was a mischievous squirrel. And Irving was a kind-hearted frog. Fred loved to play pranks on their forest friends, but Irving would always remind him that it's important to be kind. One day, while they were playing near the river, they saw a family of ducks trying to cross the water, and but they could not swim well. Fred had an idea and quickly found some leaves and sticks to make a raft for the ducks to cross safely. Irving was so proud of his best friend for using his mischievous skills for good. From that day on, Fred always tried to find ways to help their forest friends and not just play pranks. And even though they were different in many ways, Fred and Irving knew that their friendship was strong because they cared for each other and for others. The end. Are you kidding me? Like, there it is, guys. I, I don't know what else to tell you besides that. So we're, we'll go over to Amazon and just just look at a couple things of books that sell like this. But that's not the only thing. You can run your entire print-on-demand t-shirt business with a bot answering your emails. Like, start it today. Sell a t-shirt tonight. If you already have this implemented, start using these tools. 
I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you how to use the tools. I'm going to show you how to build a bot in the coming videos, in the coming days and weeks, guys. Must subscribe to get all of the notifications so you don't miss those videos. Thank you so much. Just get prepared, guys. All right, guys. So we just, to show you a little bit to round it up, just put in best-selling children's picture books on Amazon. And they're selling anywhere from hard copy to soft copy from $8.99 in the paperbacks. And then we, we forget about this too, though. Once once your book goes on Amazon, there's a million ways people can purchase it that you wouldn't never think of. Um, like the Kindle, audiobook, paperback, hardcover. Imagine if you made four of these books a week and remind you, you don't have to have a publisher or anything like that to sell a book on Amazon. Um, so print on demand, just like a t-shirt. Um, you're your own publisher nowadays. Take advantage of these things while we still can, because it's going to be completely gone. Th these kind of things to make money on will not be around very much longer, uh, but try it out. Make a couple of them. It's not going to cost you barely anything to do any of this. Um, so just one idea, guys. And, and again, once chat GPT, tells you something, it's always good to ask it to critique itself, uh, give it a second opinion, and then you want to proofread it as well. It's not it's not doing all the work for you, but it's doing a large portion, and then it's, it's cutting out all of that stuff, all of that practice in between. Um, you don't go to a restaurant to get food that you have to prepare yourself, uh, and just like when you go to do a task, you don't want to have to do all the small stuff like it takes to produce this and we have shortcuts now uh, and it's called ai and we need to embrace it guys thanks again guys so much uh, i hope you enjoyed the content i hope it was informative to you and uh make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these new videos that are coming we've just barely scratched the surface guys so don't miss out love you